everyone, Laurel Mintz here with Elevate My Brand. Uh, just like the content conversation, we're still talking about influencer marketing and whether it's worth it. Um, I think people are still very confused about the difference between macro, micro, and even nano um, in terms of what kinds of influencers would be the right fit for your brand. I would argue that the macro influencers, the celebrity influencers, are not influencers unless you are a big brand that are going to really move the needle for you. And plus, most of us just frankly don't have the budget to spend on that kind of celebrity. Um, more of the micro influencers, you know, those, those could be anywhere ranging from 100,000 followers up to a couple million followers. For us, it's really more about the engagement. And I'll say that, you know, where it used to be Wild Wild West, now there's a ton of different platforms out there that you can actually use to help you develop these kinds of campaigns. And we use an agency only platform where we create the creative brief for the influencer. We get inbound from them so we can actually kind of cultivate and pick through and make sure that the engagement rates are where they need to be, that their numbers are where we want them to be. So you can kind of do some marketing math in that and understand what the return on investing in that influencer is going to be like. Um, the other really great thing about using a platform is that uh, everything is done on platform so all the taxes all the payments to the influencers they aggregate all of those data points so that they can you can have a report of whether that was effective long term or not um, especially if your KPI is visibility and awareness and not necessarily uh, click through to a sale um, the other really cool piece is nano influencers or the other cool option is nano influencers and those tend to have a lot fewer um, in their audience, their numbers are less, but their engagement rates can go through the roof. So it's really a quality versus a quantity conversation, I think, um, for those of you looking to get into the world of influencer marketing. Uh, I will say that you know the one-off kind of wild, wild west, building out your own lists and doing all the follow-up and making sure they have product and making sure they're posting and making sure the posts are appropriate, it is a pain in the you know what, and our team, we won't even do it that way anymore. It just doesn't make sense. You end up spending the same amount of money and a lot have a lot less impact for the campaign. So do yourself a favor, favor either work with an agency or find one of those content uh, influencer aggregation platforms out there so you can do it all on platform and make your life so much easier and really use these platforms for, for, for what they're good for, which is really aggregating all of the influencers that are right for your specific category. So you can get a lot more bang for your buck.